What's up guys? So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to send very specific data in or from Airtable to a different party. So it's exporting data from Airtable using automations. And I'm going to be showing you this, a, a few just really simple steps, a few fundamentals that you're going to be learning here on how to export data. It doesn't really matter for me where you're exporting it to. It does for you though. So that's what I'm going to be showing you here. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS. And what we do is we help business owners probably just like you. We help you optimize your information systems and stuff like Airtable, Asana, Slack. And we help you build out the systems to help you scale your business, help you save time in your business. So if you're interested in any services, you can check out the link in the description and request a consultation from me or someone on my team. Without further ado, we'll get right in the video now. So in here we can see I am in the sales CRM and you already have a table or you have specific information you want to be exporting. But how do you export that? So the, the biggest thing that I want to help you understand is how to get all of that information into one place. So the first step to this is getting all of this information in one record. And so you might be like, well, Ben, that's maybe, but how, how, how do I do that? Because I, uh, I want to export information, some of the information is from the opportunity, but I also have information uh, about the, the contact that I'm sending the email to that I need to be including this. And I also want to include information about all of our interactions um, and maybe even one task. And that's that's four different tables. Well, what I would say is, yes, well, that's four different tables. All of these tables have relationships between e each of them. And without getting too deep into the correct structure of the database, which, was, which is where me and my team specialize in is building a database uh, so it has the right structure um, and then adding the automations afterwards. But all of these have relationships between them. So like uh, account has many contacts. A contact has interactions about an opportunity with a with one with someone from my team or like someone from the sales team uh, for the sales CRM. So these are all related. All these these four in particular, right? And actually these five in particular. These are all related, and you see that through, through these linked fields. So, if you're a con, if you want to send information to a contact, and you want to include information about all of those other things, what I would start doing is I would start adding. You need you need to perfect a few fields. So the fields you need to be an expert on are the roll up, the lookup, and sometimes the count. Now roll up can also do count, but uh, if you want to be sending information from all of these different tables, it, be an expert in the lookup. So like if you want to be have, have more information on the opportunities, then you'll link to the opportunities and you'll maybe bring in the estimated value of the opportunity. So here we can see only some of these have them. And if we maybe change this to the other opportunities, usually there wouldn't be two in here, um, but we can see you get different data. So start playing around with this lookup field and the rollup field to maybe get an array unique, which is a unique list of values from a rollup field or whatever that looks like, and just get all of this information in the same place. Now the second piece to the puzzle is getting this information out. So the reason why I say get all of this information in one record here is because this is how Airtable, like their API, whatever you want to call it, um, this is that they can pull anything at one time from this record. So while we're in the we're in the contacts table, they can pull information about the uh, interactions, about the opportunities, um, about the account, all anything in here, anything in this record right here, they can pull in. Uh, so that's why it's important there. So then I'll sh I'll show you that actually. So. If we added an automation over here and we said this one is exporting data, um, you have very specific data you want to export. You know what that is. Um, I don't right now, but what you would do is you would choose a trigger when you have, when the conditions are met that you would want to export that data. So if you're using this in internal Airtable automations, I, I really like using when a record matches conditions. If you want to be more generic, you can use when a record is created or when a record is updated. Um, but for us, maybe we're, we're in the contacts table and we add all these filters in here. So they will say, like if you're using stuff from other tables, then the, the estimate kit is not empty. And we'll also say that the 
email is not empty because we're maybe we're emailing this to someone. So then you can run te that test and I'll show you the action here soon. Now, if you were using something like maybe Zapier, then I would come in here and add a field and say this is automation export. Um, and this one, you're, you're gonna end up changing this to a locked view right here. So you're gonna change it to lock so nobody can edit it. But if you're using Zapier, you just wanna mimic these same conditions in here. So mimic that the email is not empty. So I choose email and say is not empty. And then mimic where the that lookup field is not empty. So those are the two options. If you're in Airtable, this will cut down on the amount of views you have to create for automations, which is why I suggest that one. Uh, but that's how you do that. So either way, that's the first step is creating the trigger to it. Now the action, um, I'm just gonna show you a random one. So I'm just gonna click this one. Um, so for this one, we have to add all these fields and everything. So this is how you spend, send specific data out of here. So there's two different types of data here. There's static or dynamic. Static would be if like I typed in the same thing. So every time that this is created, I want it to say new in this field. Um, that's static data. Now if it was dynamic data, dynamic data changes based on the record. So dynamic data would be information pulled in from the trigger or from a previous step in our automation. So this is how you get that very specific data out of Airtable. Uh, and this one, obviously it's staying in Airtable, but this is where you might insert the phone or you might insert uh, LinkedIn um, and that kind of stuff. So that's by clicking this little blue box and inserting that there is how you export specific data. Now in Zapier, it's just a little bit differently. You just pull in information from the trigger, just like we did here. It's just not a little blue box. It's more intuitive in Zapier. So then you can export it using whichever automation you want. Um, if it works well with Airtable internal automations, I would use those. If it works with a different um, third party, then I would use Zapier. So that's the basics of getting d data out of Airtable. Now, one thing a lot of people struggle with is how to update auto how to update information already in their Airtable database. So if you want to learn how to update information in your Airtable database, I would go click this link right here in the end screen. It's that box right there in the end screen. It's gonna show you two ways to use update record automations to update information in your Airtable database. So I highly encourage you to go check that out. And without further ado, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Go check that end screen right there.